Mission Revival. What is Mission Revival and why do we need it? Well, with almost more than 8 billion people on the planet now, we need everyone involved in order to get the three angels' messages to every nation, kindred, tongue, tribe, and people. Today, we're talking with Dr. Elvin Texan and his wife, Dr. Diana Texan. They're in the Philippines. They have a ministry there. It's called Siloam Valley. Tell us what's happening at Siloam Valley. What are the different facets of ministry that you're working with there at Siloam Valley? We are so delighted to be part of this mission report. And uh, Siloam Valley Institute is an outpost center. We are located in the South Philippines. And it has been a, a dream and a vision uh, by Ellen White that we should uh, establish outpost centers to work the cities. So uh, at Siloam Valley Institute, we started with a, a training program by Light Ministry uh, for the uh, pioneering stage of the Institute. And then we started with uh, food production, uh, food factory, then the construction and the agriculture departments. And uh, we are so delighted to see how God unfolds His beautiful plan how to build the ark for the end time, uh, for the salvation of, of his people. And so uh, the cities uh, are being served by our missionaries from Outpost and uh, with the products and uh, other uh, ministry uh, activities. So I understand that you have the Outpost, but you also have some centers of influence that are established in the city. Tell us about those, how many of them are there, and uh, how does that work? At present, we have three branches already. It's called Plant-Based Health Food Store, Making Healthier Choices Easier. Um, so where we conduct health lectures, cooking class, and also where we also have our clinic. And in there, we meet people, and um, trying to build a culture of healthy community where the stores are located. So you have stores in the city and people are coming there. They're able to purchase healthy products. They're able to get consultations there in the clinic and they can be referred out to the outpost for lifestyle center education and uh, lifestyle programs. You're training missionaries there. That's amazing to see what God is doing. Let me ask you yeah. a question, though. Both of you are professional uh, in your field, physicians. How did God get you involved in this kind of ministry? It, it, I say it was a journey. It started with the Lord talking to us personally and uh, realizing our need to change. Uh, one of them is our health practices. And then through the word and the spirit of prophecy, uh, the Lord uh, opened the, uh, to us his um, plan step by step. And I can see his patience on us. So we have been working in the hospital since we, we uh, finished our training. And uh, there was a burden in our hearts how we can share uh, to our patients uh, the the, the health message. So uh, with with the help of some of our missionary friends from PAMAS and OCI, uh, we started to uh, in, be involved with their um, missionary activities. And uh, the, the key was our attendance to the Outpost Center's international retreat in Jakarta called uh, Reaching the Cities. And so there we were able to understand how the health food store works. And we can see the, the faith of our brethren there who win their fellow Chinese brethren through this uh, uh, health facility, the centers of influence. There was also what they call the urban evangelism training and also uh, Bible studies, evangelism, health camps. So we were so amazed at this program that uh, it, it was a burden in our heart when we went home back to Philippines that we really need 
to put up something like this because it's it's in the spirit of prophecy. Okay, so you attended an OCI convention, you got some training, some help from other people who were doing a similar thing, but God was working in your heart to start something in the Philippines and to have these centers of influence with an outpost center outside the city to help work those areas of God's vineyard where people need to know more about health and the gospel and how that those two things are actually connected. Now, I imagine that in your journey there, you've had opportunity for training, you have opportunity for ministering to people through your store, you have opportunity for people attending the lifestyle sessions. Tell us a story about someone's life who has been impacted through contact with this ministry. Yeah, we praise God. Um, we just started our um, health program last year, and we it was attended by... Uh, beauty titleist here in the Philippines and um, she's been posting about what's going on in here. Then another lady who's been following her post was inspired and decided to join us in one of, one of our sessions last year. She is an Adventist and she has um, a big responsibility in her church and uh, she found joy connecting the gospel and health, the connection and the healing that she experienced. So from eight medications to eight letters of New Start, now she's she's drug free and she's she's off medication now. And um, she wants to bring this message to her church, to her community. And we are now organizing a health program next month in our own division in uh, in Luzon, and we praise God for the opportunity of even God using um, other people, not of our church, to reach out more people. Wow. So someone comes to your health um, program there, and they start witnessing to other people, and more people find out about it. She's posting on social media, and now you have opportunity to actually do some training where many of those people from her church will be connected and be trained on how they can be more healthful and also connect in a closer relationship with Jesus. What an amazing opportunity to minister in this way. So God has led you into this work. He's given you this opportunity. So in the Outpost Center, tell us a little bit about some of the features that are at the Outpost Center. Well, Brother Steve, Elder Steve, uh, the Outpost Center is indeed the school of the prophets because we are unlearning what we have learned outside and the Lord is teaching us another curriculum. It's actually a character building experience for everybody who is here in the Outpost Center. Right now, we are around 40 or 45 uh, missionaries from different backgrounds. Some of them uh, are are professional, some are not. So, but uh, we join together because of the mission, because of mission. So here, um, uh, it's very exciting how the Lord uh, will put all things together, the pieces of the puzzle that He, he wants to be uh, uh, put put together into one, and that is the Outpost Center. So we, we have our food factory going on, and it has helped us with some of our sustainability. We have the Bible school uh, and the uh, agriculture uh, department. We started to plant uh, more fruit trees and uh, other vegetables around. And we have the um, the construction uh, program, the industrial uh, department, uh, housekeeping, all this joining together. Um, and sometimes some may not understand why they are, they are there, but when we go back to the mission, uh, they are inspired to, to, to go on. And so uh, we work the cities from Outpost. So we go there in the, mor in the morning and come back in the evening to the, to the Outpost Center. So uh, it's still a work in progress. And we can see the, the vastness of the work. And we don't know how to finish it and how to, to make things, you know, balance everything with family, with the work, with the ministry. But we know that uh, God has... Uh, shown this plan and he will fulfill it. <laughs> Amen. What a blessing to see that 
about 45 missionaries there in different capacities, being trained, running a food factory, ministering in the cities, coming back there. And I, I like what you said. It's more about character development than anything else. I think that's a lot of what God has in mind when he places us in ministry. He sees that we need our characters developed as well. But let me ask you another question. You know, there may be someone watching this program today that may be serving in a professional capacity. They may be just living their life, but God has been working on their heart. God has been trying to attract them to mission and to ministry. Speak to that person a little bit and just what would you say to a person who feels God inviting them into ministry and mission? Well, uh, we can share only what we have experienced. And it's all started with our connection with the Lord. Um, the burden, uh, when we know the word and it's clear and the spirit of prophecy, then that burden becomes uh, uh, our, our springboard to start the ministry. And it's also a joy to work with our fellow missionaries uh, because sometimes church members and church leaders, and um, uh, we need also to seek help from those who have already gone uh, ahead of us so that they can also give us some insights how to start right. And uh, one of the, the things that we did when we started here was to study the OCI Startup Ministry Handbook. A manual. Somehow, it has uh, an idea, uh, giving us an idea how how this uh, outpost center should should work. Although we have our unique challenges in our different uh, ministries, but somehow uh, the valuable insights and the uh, it's a guide somehow to make us um, move forward without uh, um, you know uh, the the things that you have learned also and shared to us. In, in, so that we will not suffer the consequences later of our wrong decisions. Praise God. So you've been reading the book and uh, how to start a ministry, how to start right. That's a blessing to you. Kind of associating with other OCI ministries, learning what they're doing in the city of Jakarta, incorporating some of those things and starting this outpost ministry. It's amazing to see how God has led you on this journey and he continues to lead you on this journey of ministering there in the southern part of the Philippines, engaging people, teaching them how to be healthy, sharing the gospel with them, leading them to a more complete and full knowledge of Jesus Christ, sharing, as it were, the three angels' messages for these last days with those people. What a blessing to see what God is doing there. Um, Diana, you're a doctor. You just maybe speak to someone from your standpoint, invite them to engage in mission and ministry. You ask God for wisdom, and then the Lord will open wisdom to you. Then do leave what you have studied and be an influence. Your life will become an influence for others to know more about how to be prepared for these last days and be an inspiration to others. Hey man, friends, you've heard it there. Uh, today we're talking with Dr. Elvin and Dr. Diana Tux Texan from the Philippines and the ministry there at Siloam Valley. If you feel God tugging on your heart to get involved in ministry and mission, contact us here at Outpost Centers International. Get inspired, get trained, but do something. Get started with what God has put in your hands. May God bless you, friends.